welcome. I have a nice little post run mobility treat for you. It's gonna help loosen up the tendons, the muscles, the joints. It's gonna help with your recovery and you're gonna feel overall much better. It won't take long, you don't need much space, just yourself, a little bit of room. Of room. And we'll start here with our feet just wider than hip width apart top of our mats, relax your shoulders, tuck your chin to your chest, and we're gonna to start to peel it down nice and steady. Soften your knees, your hammies will be a little bit tight after your session. So coming down here, just dangling your torso, and feeling the stretch into your hammies. If you can, finger pads down, start to pedal through your feet, lift one heel, and then lift one heel. To make this one more stretchy, to go deeper, tuck your chin to your chest and that'll just wind you up a little bit deeper into your set. If that feels too tight, keep your eyes forwards and you can always just bend your knees a little more to make it a little bit less assertive on the backs of those legs. You're just here for 10. So just getting a little bit of foot, ankle, calf, a little bit of hamstring release. We're gonna get into the hips, the shoulders very soon in five, four, three, two, and one from here, your left hand reaches for your right foot. Your right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Just one little rotation here to unravel. Straight across the other side, reach and grab towards your ankle. Left arm, reach, twist and open. And back to your start position, we'll walk all the way out into a full plank. Don't panic, there's no core exercises, just a little transition set up so your hips go low, shoulders strong, heels draw back, your right foot all the way to the edge of your right hand. Plant it down, push your left heel back, open up your right knee. We're gonna start to slowly drop that left knee to tap and lift. So we're getting a little bit of adductor here on the right, hip flexor on the left. See if you can lengthen your upper back, eyes forwards, and you've got two to go. Last one here, straighten your leg, block your shoulder into your knee and reach that left arm up towards the ceiling, open, reach and twist. Left palm comes all the way back down, you have two to go. So see if you can keep your back leg straight as you reach, twist and open. So we're getting a little bit of thoracic, a little bit of shoulder, we're still getting hip flexor. Last one. And then from here, your palm comes back down, switching straight to the other side. So back into your plank, nice and brief, left foot all the way to the edge of your left hand. Straighten up your shoulders, let your left knee drop to the left. Hips nice and square, start to slowly drop your knee. And lift. So just getting into that right side hip flexor, a little bit into the left adductor and hamstring, just depends where you hold your attention. And you're just getting a little bit of oscillation movement through the hip joint here. You've got last three, two, and we'll hold this last one, knee tight, blocking left shoulder into that left knee, right arm reach, twist and open. So just a little bit of length through that middle back. Of course, running very much a full body sport, so you wanna unravel the shoulders, the hips, the core all the way through those ribs. And then last one here, making sure you get a full reach of your arm but with a straight knee, your palm comes down. From here, all you need to do is find your way back into your plank, drop your knees, tailbone comes up, chest will drop, straight into your happy puppy, just to release that mid thoracic, open up through your chest, expand the shoulders, that right hand will come underneath. Left shoulder right ear to the mat. Just getting down nice and low, just relax into it. So you're just unraveling, decompressing through that thoracic. See if you can get your hand a little bit further underneath for three, two, one. Back to your start position. From here, left hand comes all the way through, under, relax that left ear. Reach your right hand forward, see if you can get a little bit more depth underneath. For three. Two, and one. From here, your palm comes back. Walk your hands all the way back towards your knees. Roll that through your shoulders, up, down, and back, and we're coming straight into a little bit of quads and glutes. Biggest muscle groups of the body, so you wanna make sure they're nice and limber. Left side elbow here. And this does look like we're doing sideline glute set. We're not, I promise, we're doing mobility. Nice and relaxed stretching. Grab onto your right side ankle. 
and just pull the heel in towards your glute and as you do so, push up through your shoulder and pull that knee back. So nice opening through that rec fem, through the hip. And then from here, we'll just add a little bit of movement. Best way to recover is active recovery. So round curl, tuck knee to the nose, curl. Keeping the heel nice and tight, we start to pull that knee all the way back. All right, you've got three more like this. So you want to round the nose all the way to the knee, coming in nice and close in that hip range, pulling that knee all the way back. Last two. And this last one here, we'll see if we can get a little bit further. We've just got a little hold, knee to nose, pulling it all the way back, chest up, keep that heel close to the glute and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. That right heel comes directly in front of your left knee. So plant it down, pull the heel nice and close so you can really feel it stretching into the glute and then just start to push that right knee away. So you can lengthen through your neck, relax your shoulders and you just feel a bit of opening into that right outer hip, a little bit of a stretch into those deep glute muscles. And if you can start to get a little bit more tension on that one and just statically hold that one there for three, two, and one from here, just a little transition set. So you're gonna plant your feet just wider than hip width apart. You've got your hands just behind your hips, shoulders down. And then from here, just go for a little sway of those knees from side to side. We'll add a bit of rotation. The knees go towards the left. Right arm comes all the way across over through. A Little bit of unraveling for that middle back. Back to your start position. You can take the heels wider if you need to get the range. Left arm comes up, over, through, elbows go wide, nose to the mat, and we'll go for one more each way. So just a little bit of unraveling. See if you can keep your heels down the whole time. That way you're mobilizing through the hips and you're not tricking through that lower limb. And let's go one more. Finishing it off all the way under, through, elbows go wide. And then from here, coming back to your seated position and straight onto your side. So you want to be onto that right side forearm, posture nice and strong, knees bent, heels stacked, reaching behind to grab onto your left heel, open up through your chest. And then from here, lengthening through your neck, we'll start that little bit of oscillation through the hip. So you want to get that rounded movement, nose to knee, keeping that heel tight, pull it all the way back. So opening up through the front of the hip, opening up through the front of that left quad, but also getting a bit of range into the front of that hip joint, just gently moving through flexion all the way through extension. One side always feels a little looser than the other, so you might be able to go a little bit further. You've got two to go here, and we'll go for that little hold at end range. All right, last one. See if you can keep that heel nice and close. Nose all the way to the knee, pulling that heel back, opening up through that hip and holding this very last one. Five, four, three, two, and one. Left heel in front of that right knee. Just pushing that left hand into the outside portion of your knee and gently from here, push that knee away. To make this one deeper, you wanna pull your heel closer in towards you. To make it easier, pull the heel further away. And you should be feeling this sort of in the deep area of your outer lateral hip into your glutes. See if you can lengthen your neck and your shoulders and just get a little bit more depth for the last five, four, three, two, and one, relax. Just shake off your leg, come straight onto your back. And then from here, grab your knees into your chest. One final bit of rotation for your lumbar spine. From here, extend that right side leg. Your left knee comes all the way across the body. Left palm out, shoulders flat, and just using that palm on the outside of the knee to get a little bit of rotation depth. Should feel pretty good. Dusting off the cobwebs after your session and just hold that one there for three, two, one, knees back into your chest nice and tight. Left leg extends straight to the other side, right knee comes across. Right palm out, the shoulders are flat. And just using that pressure in your palm onto the knee to get a little bit more depth. Relaxing into it. For three, for two, and for one. You are all done. 
nice, loose and limber. I hope you recover nicely and you bounce back ready for your next run. I hope you enjoyed your session of Pilates with AB. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe and follow the link below for more exercise snacks, mobility tips and runner special sequences. Enjoy.